Howdy there, guys and gals. It's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, back with another edition of Transport Fever. And this is going to be episode nine of our series, uh, our free play series here on a U.S. map. Um, so today we're going to pick up right where we left off, which was uh, we put in our, fu our, our food line and it was just starting to make deliveries. Uh, and it is doing quite well for us and uh, rocking along and doing pretty darn good. Uh, we're actually making pretty good money as well. I wanted to verify. I couldn't remember whether I extended that thing out or not. I did. All right, so good. Um, anyway, so our food line is doing okay. We're making money again. We're 2.95 million. We need to repay back some more of our loan. We still owe five and a half million dollars, uh, which we're probably going to have to borrow even more with what we're going to do today, which is we're going to solve our transportation woes uh, with San Jose, or at least we're going to put in a part of the solution for San Jose, and we'll see how that turns out for us. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me, when are you going to do planes? When are you going to do planes? And uh, that is something that we are going to address today because we're going to put a couple airports in. We're going to put one here in San Jose. I'm going to put another one in over here in Thousand Oaks, and hopefully that's going to make a little bit of money. I know a lot of people jump into airports as soon as they're available, and they end up losing their shirt on them um, because I think they try to rush into them, but also I think they try to do too great of a distance with the airplanes. Um, you know, you start off early with small commuter planes, and they don't really cover the... Ooh, look, a new commuter plane. The Donier uh, Merker. And again, this is a small commuter plane. It doesn't go that fast, but I see a lot of people try to like jump from here all the way to the bottom of the map uh, with an airport. And it just seems like that's too great of a distance uh, because you end up racking up so much expense. You can only carry four or five people. Uh, and you rack up a huge amount of expense and, and then the payoff at the other end isn't worth it. So I'm thinking by keeping it simple, just like we keep these routes short and sweet in the beginning to make money i think by keeping our distance here between the two short uh we can probably turn a profit on it albeit probably not much profit but at least some profit so that's going to be my game plan to get started today and uh, we're going to work on that a little bit uh, which is going to involve doing a little bit of demolition work and um getting a new rail station in down here in Thousand Oaks because this single uh, this single terminal here or single platform station just isn't going to cut the mustard anymore. Um, we're going to need to expand it. I'm probably going to expand it out to about four stations or four platforms and to do that I'm going to lay a little bit of track first uh, because I got to eat this hill away a little bit and uh, some of y'all were probably wondering how is he going to manage doing stuff now that he put that that station right in next to there. I could use the terraforming tool and dig down a little bit and then smooth it all out. Ugh. Did I really just do that? I hate this game sometimes. Why do you put catanneries in when I don't want them? If I wanted them, I would select them. Oh, but I gotta autofill those in for you there, Moose. Cause you, you know, you you just don't realize you have the ability now to run electric trains, and they're a beautiful thing, and you should be running them. And I'm just gonna force you to run them by forcing you to put catenaries in every time. You may lose your mind, but you know you'll have catenaries, and you'll thank me later on down the road. No, I won't. I'll hate you, game. Pause game. Pause game, destroy track. Destroy some more track. Destroy even more track. There will be bulldozing. Don't bulldoze the train station. But get rid of all this track. You're probably wondering, what is he doing? I'm gonna extend this platform out a little bit. Cause we're gonna get to the point where we're gonna have some longer trains and stuff. And I'm probably gonna need a longer platform down here. So while I'm doing all this, I might as well go ahead and expand it out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to lose. say goodbye to all the happy people uh, because we are going to lose them as well. Uh, but we'll go ahead and put four platforms in here. 
And we'll go up to 240 meters. Collision alignment problem. Where is the collision alignment at? Everywhere. There's collision alignment everywhere. But I just got rid of all that. Mm, collision alignment with this train track is probably the biggest thing. All right, so let's pull this out. Get rid of that. Oh gosh, do not click on the thing. You know, one of the things I wish they had to put in the game was when you're going to upgrade the stations, since you can do them so easily now, it sure would have been nice to have put a function in that says, are you sure you want to bulldoze this station? Because I have demolished that station or stations more times than I wish to mention, and it really gets old. All right, so that'll go in now. There we go. Look at that. Nice. Nice four tracks. Four tracks of beautifulness. No, I do not want catanneries. No catannery. Get rid of it. I'm probably going to have to get rid of a little bit more. A little more rail here. Because I'm going to have to do a little track massaging. All right, so come out of there like a soul. Come out like so. Uh-huh, redo our little diamond crossing there. Redo it there. There we go. Pop that in like so. Pop that in like so. What are you talking about? Get over your can't do it self. Oh, that looks horrible, doesn't it? Uh, anyways. All right, so that is connected up there. And then back here, we got a mess to deal with back here. Got to get that to there. Back to there. And I would like to try to get a diamond crossing in. But it will probably tell me I can't. Because the building has to be removed for me to put a diamond crossing in. Seriously? A diamond crossing requires the removal of a building. Too much slope, too much curvature. Well, if we're gonna remove a building, let's make sure we can get it in here before we go to destroying buildings. Too much slope. See, if I had spent that earlier, I'd have been mad because I'd be like, why did I destroy a building when I couldn't even get it in there? Too much slope. Too much curvature, too much slow. My two favorite sayings. It's funny, I was talking to a, a friend of mine. Oh, I can get it in there. It'll cost $453,000 to put it in there. Are we sure this is something we need to do? No, as a matter of fact, I don't think it's something that we, yes, we need this one. To be honest with you, we need this one. Yeah, we need it right there. I really don't like doing it far away from the station. The closer you can make your cha lane changes or your track changes to the station, the better off you are. And the reason for that is, okay, now that I've got all these platforms in here, right, I'm going to have a train coming out of Kansas City, and I want to want to bring that train in on this line. Now, I could... In theory, I could bring it in on this line and, not, and then only have to have the changeover in this direction and not have to tear that building down and then I could just change this line coming in over to this station you know what that sounds like a deal because it, the deal is is I don't want this changeover any further from the station than it has to be because if you've got a train coming in and it's got to stop and sit and wait it doesn't want to sit and wait for a long period of time and you want it to sit for the least amount of time right so if it's got to sit way up here that means it's got to get going again and everything else like that you want it to stop as close to the station as possible so yeah I think that's what we'll do so let's put some waypoints in here uh, signals there we go <gasps> oh no we don't we have digital signals now oh oh we are in the big time 
Come on, give me a waypoint there. All right. So we'll put some waypoints in. And since we're going to be doing stuff a little bit differently now, we will come in here. And since this station is going to go out that direction, we'll put a signal there. And I'll put a blocking signal here as well. Because you want to block this this train. If, if a train were coming out of here, you would want to block it. And if the train's coming out of here, you want to block it. Uh, and then I want this here, like a soul, uh, to hold up a train here if a train's coming out of here. Um, what else? And I don't want it blocking the points. Um, that seems all good on that end. And then we still got to get over into the depot. So we want to run from. Gosh, I still think I want to run it from here into the depot, even though. Eh. There. I had to go into the depot like so. And then we still have to have a signal coming out of the depot like so. To stop that. Okay, we're good there. Now on the back side of this, we gotta add some signals, waypoints, all that good stuff on here. Ugh. Man, I have such a camera dance. I wonder if everybody else has it. The whole deal with you can you can move the camera just by going to the edges of the screen, right? Or you can move the camera by using your WAS and D keys. I prefer the WAS and D keys to move the camera around versus the whole uh, you know using the mouse to the edge of the screen because most of the time I'm wanting to hold the mouse in a particular space while I'm doing it. Well, it gets really when you start to turn and stuff, and you're down by the edges, and it could become a real pain in the rear. All right, so signal there, and I'm going to put a signal here. Uh, you never know. You may, I may decide to bring a train out of here, but for now, I'm not going to. I'm just going to bring it out of here. I need a stoplight right there, telling that to stop coming into there. And that's good. This here, we're not going to use right now, so I'm just going to leave it there, and I'm not going to worry about marking any of that stuff up right now. Um, so we should have our, our lights, um, and I'm not going to even double this up right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. This train should continue, uh, to come in on this line with no issues whatsoever, even though I've put some signals and some lights on it. Uh, I don't think it will get too confused. That should be fine right now. This, on the other hand, though, I do need to fix. So this is my Oklahoma City line. So we come to our line manager and this should be the Oklahoma City Irving line and it is going Thousand Oaks, Oklahoma City Irving, Thousand Oklahoma City. And so right here we need to add a station and we need to come back to it and designate that it's going to come in on this line and or this platform. And that is good. That is fixed. Things should be back to normal. We should be able to take everything off a of pause. I do want to look and make sure my train directions. That one's good. Where's my other train at? It is way up here, isn't it? Oh, there it is. All right, so I'm just verifying the direction that it's headed because as I start this back up so we can make some money. I just don't want it being stuck going the wrong direction because I did destroy this station again, right? All right. Now, let's pull some more rail out of this little Ukachu here and see if we can't get uh, something headed up in a decent direction up towards where we want to go. And... Let's see if we can't do a little change over here. Something like that. And gosh, let's see if we can do this too. Too much slow. Ah, uh, you figures. 
Figures, figures, figures. And do I really need that? I don't really need it. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on doing all that stuff because this line is completely different than anything else. And what I want to do is I want to come around here, cross both of those tracks, and tie into this one somewhere in here. Oh gosh, that's going to work right there. Does that work? Is that something I really want to do? Jump that line to depot. Yeah, I do want to do that. And that'll work because that'll give me a way to get a, a train over here and all will be good. All right, so hit that. I need a light there. And then, of course, both of those are signaled. Good, good, good. All right, and then make sure that we have a signal on each of these coming out. Waypoint, waypoint, waypoint. Waypoint there. Waypoint there. Signal here. And... <laughs> You're choking me. Trying to work here, can't see a thing because of you. Oh, seriously, come on, you're not gonna let me put the signal right there. Thank you. All right, so signal, signal, good to go. Right on. Now, let's get some track done out of here. Um, actually, you know what? Why don't we instead go over here and put our airport in so we know where we're going? Probably be a better idea, right? All right, so select the airport, find some terrain that is moderately level so we can spend the least amount of money possible uh, putting it in. That is $2 million right there. That is 2.2. Oh, I saw $182 million. I thought I saw $130 million, right? 129. Ooh. Are we going to be able to upgrade here in the future? Probably, but it will probably be quite expensive to upgrade in the future. But that's $113 million. Mm, can I can I stomach $113 million? $112 million right there. Probably going to be pretty easy to get in and out of. I'm going to do it. That's going to be where we're going to put it. So there's our airport. Next thing we need to do is put a little road on it. And by little, I mean just a small little street. I might not even need a street at all. But gosh, I'm going to put one on it anyways. Why? Because, well, I just feel like I should. And auto save. Oh, big choo choo. Not so much big in the fact that it goes fast, just it has a ton of horsepower. The class 9000. It's a beast, but it only runs like 50 miles an hour. Um, but, I mean, that's not saying it's not a nice thing. Ooh, do we go with a modern train station or do we go with a older train station? Let's go with a more modern train station. Young, fancy train station, more modern, no catanneries on it. Uh, 240 on the length of it. Mm, maybe not so much because we're going to run shuttle service to this. I'm not really going to run a full blown train to this. Um, I mean, we might go up to Norwalk this way, um, but for the most part, this is just going to be a shuttle. I don't really see putting anything amazing on it, but look how cool that looks. 
I do like the fancier terminal. Do we need to high speed it right now? I don't see a need to high speed it either right now. Because again, it's just going to be a shuttle. Now, I might do a high speed shuttle when I get some money, but I definitely want to do two tracks on it. So let's do two tracks. Because I might be bringing some people in from another direction to it. Alright, so that is in place. And we can wrap around and go get in and out of here real fast. Um, let's go with the outside track. And let's give ourselves a little bit of track there. And then we will just do a big, huge whoop around uh, to get to this guy here. Do, 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 do. Let's see, what am I doing here? I need to focus a little bit. So I've got my I've got my Kansas City route coming in on this, right? This is going to be Oklahoma City. This is going to be Antioch. And then this is going to be shuttle service. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring this on out and around. Lexo. Trying to keep up his... I don't want that high speed. Man, I, I'm just doing everything silly. And just tie right into that right there. There we go. So nicely done. Nice little loop there. And that will be our airport run. So let's go ahead and make a leg. Uh, so make a line. And this will be our airport run. So we're going from here. Actually, I don't want to do that. Let me remove that. I want to start here because I'm coming out of this. In order to get this into this station, I need to make sure it's going to this station first. So let's go to there and then to here. And then let's make sure it comes back in on the proper waypoint here, which is going to be that one there. And that is good. So this is our Thousand Oaks Airport Shuttle. So T Oak. And then if this is a passenger line. And we're just going to call it Airport Shuttle. And that is good. That part is in place. And we have our first airport in. And now we can come over here to San Jose, which is right over here. And we got a little bit of work to do over in this area. So we're gonna put a plane airport in and we just kinda wanna figure out where to put it first, right? And it's gonna be the same process. I'm basically just gonna look for the cheapest place uh, that we can put this in and not cost me an arm and a leg, right? Uh, needs to be fairly level. That's 188,000 or 188 million. 190 million, 2 million there. Um, 132 million. 116 million. Boy, that's way outside of town, though. Um, what does that do for any kind of. Hmm. So down here costs me a little bit more. And boy, it does a whole lot of terraforming to get it in what about out here oh well out here we can do it really cheap over here cost me a whole lot of money what if we turn it this way oh wow that way it really cost an arm and a leg wow that's like six million dollars to put it over that way Neil, thank you. I think we will pass on that. Thank you. Airport sounded like a great job. Uh, no. Oh, I can repay some more money here. Um, yeah, I'm thinking right in here is going to work somewhere in here. Uh, the question is, do I want to go 1.8 million to be close to the city? Uh, or do I just want to move way out here and then set up bus service? And let everybody take the bus service out here and save a little dollar or two uh, by being a little bit out of town. Hmm. How much more money can we save being out here? See, if we came all the way up here, we can get it up to $1.2 million. 
And we all know airports are usually outside the city. I don't want to be too close to that stone quarry though, because if I get too close to it, ooh, look how flat that is. Oh wow, look how cheap that is. Holy cow. 800K? Oh my gosh. And that would be really easy to expand later on down the road. And one of the things I'm looking at is also down the road when it comes time to, to expand this to multiple runways, am I gonna be am I gonna have an area I can do it? This is so darn flat. Oh, this could work. This could really work right here. 1.2 million there. What if we rotate it a little bit? Hmm. Hmm. Guys, oh, tempting to go way up there with it. It's also tempting to be right here closer to the city and not have to run a bus so far up there. Um, yeah. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to keep it closer to the city. Uh, if I was going to go that far out, I'd end up having to run a commuter line out there. I'd have to run, run a train out there. I think if I keep it right in this area here, I can keep it I keep the expense moderate and then um, I can still be able and, and people can move in around it you know it's not gonna be so far out that people won't move to it so yeah I think um, I hate having to build up so much to get it up in here but We got that bridge jumping over there. Maybe we put a bridge over here. Industry can build up around it. $2 million for an airport. We're never going to recoup that money. I should just go ahead and do it and quit thinking about it. There, just. Oh, that is. That is awful. There will need to be a lot of trees put in here. Holy cow, that's ugly. Um, all right, well, deal is done. Now we just have to live with it. Um, all right, well, don't say you weren't warned. All right, so let's run a road up to this one. And let's run a road up this side of it. And then we're going to slap a bus station right here and it's going to build things up even worse. Um, so bus station. And we'll rotate this around. And smack a bus station in. Come on. Oh, now it's not even going to go. Oh, have a city of a population of at least 750. Thank you very much. I think I will. Oh, that did match in, but boy, it's going to have to have a small pyramid put in to put it into place. Oh, well. All right, so. <gasps> Ooh, I see an opportunity. I see an opportunity for a road to go in right here. Unless, can we jump this? I bet we can't. I bet there's no way possible for us to get across here. But I'm going to try. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's meant to be. How about that? How about that? Meant to be. Nice little road going over the freight line. We can have that. Oh yeah, that'll work. <gasps> oh, you know what? Oh, I didn't want to put that there. Hmm. Eh, maybe I did want to put that there. Eh, I'm not gonna worry about it. I was just thinking about something. 
Something I was thinking about doing, but it won't matter. It is not going to matter. All right, and then from here, uh, we can bring this road with a nice gradual hook here. Like so. Tying it back in like a there. Like so. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. That'll work. That will work. It's not actually straight, but look, there goes the, the grain line. I think we're going to call that the food lion. Yep. All right. It's a thing. Don't ask me why. And that name just, there's a grocery store here called Food Lion and it's, you know, it's low class, but it's just such a great name. The Food Lion. All right. So some bus stations need to go in. All right. So we're going in this direction. We're coming out this way. We're going clockwise on everything, right? So I need a bus station down in here. Uh, that's going to cover this end of town. Uh, and then we're going to come down here and we'll make a turn. Uh, so we should be able to cover pretty much all of this uh, end of town right in here for now with the station there. Uh, and then we'll come across up over here. We'll throw a, a bus stop in here. There we go. And that for now will work and some people can move into this area and we'll throw a bus station in there eventually. All right, so bus station, bus station. If I thought I could get away with a tram, I would run a tram, but the elevation changes here. I don't think I could do a tram. I just don't think so. I think I would get in trouble here. All right, so let's go ahead and put in a line manager. And that is gonna go from here to here to here over to here up and over and around that is good this is San Jose commuter San Jose commuter all right that is done and the auto save is kicked in Oh, we need to repay some money back, don't we? Repay. So I'm not paying the interest anymore. Sorry. I get lost. I get to thinking about things and don't realize what I'm doing. Also, I need to pull out my old magic wand here. Since we are going to be running a bus on these lines, we need to magic wand this baby. And uh, we need to make them all look the same. Right? So that we're driving at a good speed that we're maintaining proper speed i could up that up and put a bus line in it so traffic doesn't become an issue um but for right now i just don't see doing it we'll do it maybe down the road uh we can expand it to the next to a larger street with a faster speed limit and you know put some uh put a bus lane in on it but for now we're good all right so we got to put in the, um, I got to put back in the, uh, depot here because I destroyed it the last time we were playing and I don't always put them back in. Like somebody commented on one of my videos about you didn't put the depot back in, uh, in, um, Irving. I know I just, uh, it's not on my list of priorities of things to do most of the time. And so, um, Actually, that's not where I want to put that. I know it doesn't matter, but it's like I have this whole Sim City and City Skylines mentality still in my stuck in my head to where I wouldn't want to put a depot in here because it would lower down the property values right there or whatever. So I tend to like be, oh, well, maybe I need to put this somewhere else, you know, because who wants to move in next door to us to a truck depot that's you know got all kinds of noisy vehicles so i tend to like try to move them else places 
else places? Is that a term? I like to move things else places. Elsewhere, maybe? Maybe? Maybe that's a... Maybe that's a word? Maybe that's a real term? Silly moose. I like to put it else places. I had to check the dictionary later and see if that's an actual word. I don't think it is. All right, so buy road vehicles. Let's get a couple of these babies. Put it on there. For now, that's all we need on here. Uh, San Jose commuter. Congratulations. You have your first buses here. Thank you. Now we need to create a line. And this line is going to go from... Yeah. All the way to Thousand Oaks. Here. And it makes a huge, huge circle. But that's all right. And this is going to be our airlines. So we're going to put a big A there, not because it's the scarlet letter, uh, but because it's going to be an airfield that, yeah, y'all know what I'm doing. Y'all know what I'm laying down. Pass your service, and we are going to San Jose. There's an only an S, not an A in San Jose. All right, so that is done. Now it's just a point of putting a train on this line and putting some airplanes on this line and see if we can't get some people going. So uh, let's go over here to this dude and let's buy a train. And for this particular line, I'm going to put the old skunk on here, the old stinker, uh, because I think that'll work. I don't need a huge train on here. I just need something to move passengers. It runs 62 miles an hour. Uh, so that's fine uh, and the expenses on it aren't terrible it doesn't cost much and I could put two or three of them on the line if I wanted to so for now that is going to be it this is going to be our airline shuttle so Thousand Oaks where do we put airport shuttle there it is all right so that comes on out to shoot and then we come over here to the airport and we're gonna buy a couple of these babies to begin with and we'll put one on the line. Yep. Go ahead and get on out. And then we'll give it a little bit of time. We'll put another one out. Train one. What is wrong with train one? Where's train one? Oh, what happened here? Well, go back to the depot, dum dum. Why did you go on that line? Oh, I know why he didn't go out. Uh, it's not you that is a dum dum, it's me. I never did connect that line up. Let's get that fixed. Pause game. Bulldozer. I was like, what do you mean it came out there? I thought I did this right the first time. Apparently I didn't. There we go. Now she's gold. Now he can come out to shoot. All right, let's try this again. You are our airport shuttle. You are an essential member of the team. Fly on out there and do your job. You stinky, stinky thing. Oh, how do you like that, Hulk? And there we go. We are on the proper side of the track. Yep, there it goes. What color do we want this train to be? I need to start doing some things up like, uh, you know, painting things, giving them colors. I haven't messed around with them too much. I've been too focused on actually just playing the game. Let's make that the yellow line. What do you think? 
Looks like a school bus. Doo doo. Maybe we can. Does it have like a school bus color? I wonder if we have like a school bus actually yellow. Mm, what is that? That looks sort of school busy. School bus orange? Mm, that's too orange for a school bus. Here. We'll go with that. That'll be our school bus. Yeah, that's kind of funny. That's hilarious. Looks like a school bus now. That's great. What about these guys? Maybe put some colors on these. I think I want to make this one like a beige. Alright, so this is food. And it's hauling wheat and corn and all that good stuff. So let's give it a wheat corn color. Ugh, that's washed out. Hmm, how about that? Yeah, that, that'll work. That's putrid baby... That's like split pea soup green. That's kind of nasty. What is that? That's even... Uh, I really don't like Dayglo yellow, but... Mm, brown? That'll work. I like that. I'm going to work on that one. Irving. 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 Irvine. Irving. You're going to be... Let's make you... Hot pink? No, not pink. Uh, gray? That's not bad. And then you, you're gonna be... Gosh, what color are you gonna be? You're gonna be pulling out so you don't get colored. Oh, coward. Purple? No. I don't like purple. Blue. Oh, that's a blue train. That's ugly blue. I wish it just let you, like, color the engine only. Because some of the cars look pretty good. Hmm. That's too much blue. Oh, I like that. That's a good look. I can handle that. Oh, that's our, uh... That's a grain cart, though. Eh, that's the food lion. Oh, the food lion cannot be that color. The food lion needs to be more like that. Oh, yeah, that's the food lion right there. All right, so we got one plane rolling. I've been screwing around just so I can let it get taken off before I put the other one on the line. If y'all are wondering what I'm doing. Oh, what? No, I put them both on the line. What? Uh, I thought I left one in the hangar. I guess I did line all, didn't I? All right, so where's the two at? Neither one of them have anybody on them. All right, so that one's landing. This one's in the air. Can you stop it in midair? How funny is that? Does it crash? Does it just go plummet to the ground if you stop it in midair? Oh, that's too funny. What is it doing? I gotta see this. Oh no, he goes into flying circles. That's cool. That's cool. So he goes into a holding pattern. That's awesome. I don't want them right on each other's behind, you know? I want them spread out just a little bit. Look at there. We've already got a passenger. Ha <laughs> ha! It's going to work. Where's the plane at? Wait, the other plane's all the way back in Thousand Oaks already? Oh, I really did mess around. These, these dudes book. So you're in Thousand Oaks. You don't have anybody on board? What are you doing over here, man? So there's our little Donner airplane. Oh, let's go nose cam on this. Going for a flight. Max power. Up, up, and away. Oh, this is cool. Oh, man, that is... That's sharp. This game is amazing, the details that they have in it. It just really is. Oh, this will be cool. 
flying right over Oklahoma City. Oh, we'll get the nice overhead. Very cool. It's too bad you can't pan around while you're doing this. That is sharp. Oh, cut our engines back. We must be on our final approach. It is a short little flight. And these things book too. 90 miles an hour. It doesn't take them any time to get over here. So hopefully some people will get interested in them. And they'll ride the airplanes and we'll make a little money and all will be good. Air the airport looks good too sitting right here just outside of town and irk, irk, irk. oh easy we got a little tire squeak that's nice nice oh full reversers oh nope it does common as you turn outs like I do nice oh new truck uh -huh. Oh, it's time to play my favorite game of yours. Everybody gets a truck and a diesel. The Alco HH600. Not the strongest beast in the in the barn, but it is a diesel. It is a nice little train. Check that out. Four people waiting. And we can hold five. So this plane we might actually make a profit on. On this load. And our other one has two people on it. Are we possibly making a profit on this? No. We're 115k in the hole. It will come. Give it time. It's like Field of Dreams. If you build it, they will come. Hopefully they will. What do we have over here? How many people are here waiting? Five? Seven. Oh, starting to build up almost more than our two little planes can handle. We might have to be thinking about putting a whole nother plane in. Neat. Our little school bus here is doing its job. Yeah, our little scooter makes shuttles. Scooter. I see Crimson brought it to my attention. I haven't been naming my trains and my aircraft, and I told him today I was like, I know, and and I was gonna name things based on recommendations from people, you know, in the videos. And nobody's actually recommended any, so I just kind of lost interest in it. But yeah, I should be naming all my all my aircraft and all my buses. So submit your names. Tell me what you think they ought to be. And uh, if I like them, I'll put them in there. I could just be naming them after everybody, you know? Cowboy. The problem is if I name something Cowboy, it's going to wreck. And uh, I don't want to kill all my passengers. I want to actually get there. Um... I can say these things because they don't watch these videos. 14 people. We definitely need another plane. So let's let this guy get up in the air and get going and then we'll get another one. One thing I have learned with planes that you need to be aware of, especially when you get start to get into jets and bigger planes, you want to make sure your spacing is good on them so that they can make an up and down where they take off, they fly to the destination, and they go right down into the airport. If you get the spacing too close on them, uh, what you'll end up doing is you'll have one plane start to come over there. And let's say you're making a profit right now using these aircraft and you go to replace them, you upgrade them to a bigger aircraft. You can run into an issue where you'll start losing money because the bigger aircraft are too close together and the plane comes to the airport but it can't land because there's a plane either on takeoff or on final. And so that plane has to then divert and he has to do a pass around the airport, which means he's flying around in circles. 
you get two of them doing that and all of a sudden they're not landing and you're losing money because they're sitting up there in the air flying around in circles so you got to be careful with uh, the spacing on your aircraft you want to make sure they're pretty well spaced out so uh, that you can give them a little bit of time for one to take off uh, and the next one to, to land before you put another one out there we'll go ahead and buy another one now that that one is taken off and we'll just give it like a 10 count or so. Oh, the problem is we got another aircraft coming right in on his tail. And he's got to come in, pick up some passengers. So we'll let this one take off. And then after he takes off, then we'll put the next one on the line. I found it's good just to let them take off. Let them get in the air, make their turn, and then go ahead and put the next one out. Uh, if you put them out, like I said, if you put them out too soon, you, you may have spacing issues. So. Uh, taxiing takes forever. Where's aircraft two at or one at? There's that one. There's that one. That one's still in the air and he is decelerating. So he's about to land on the other side. So, I'm going to have to put this one out pretty quick. Yeah, he's touching down over there. There's not going to be a whole lot of space in between these guys. They're going to have to get up and get going pretty quick. All right, as soon as this one takes off, we'll go ahead and go. There we go. Put him out. There we go. All right, so how many people we got sitting here? 36 people. Holy cow. We need a bigger plane, boss. Wow. This airport's taken off. Literally. I didn't actually think to say that pun there, but okay. Do I dare put one more plane on here? Hmm. Yes, I'm going to put another plane on the line. What do we got? Five on, five on, five on. That dude's taking off with another five on his. We're actually making profit in an airplane. Buy another one. Go to the line. Four airplanes. Gosh, this was a good idea. I guess. Oh, I could be I could be getting really, really cocky on this. And it could come and bite me in the butt, but quite a few people are coming over here. And we get 37 people waiting. That's unreal. How many people over here? Six, so at least he's full. Uh, we got another bus coming. Anybody on that bus? He's got six passengers on board. Let's see if all six passengers get off and go to the, to the airport. This could be pretty good for us. Hey, so while we're here, while we're here, let's try to hide some of this monstrosity. Uh, track assets. What are that? Oh, that's like lights and stuff. Yeah, I want some trees. Alright. So yeah, look at that. Oh, a ton of people are headed over there. So that looks like there's six more people getting on there. Oh, I gotta hide this hillside. It's just gonna drive me nuts. It looks so horribly bad. No, we don't want too many trees, you know, right, right up to the airport because 
Well, that would also be ridiculous. That would be like Flight Sim, right? Oh, yes. Uh, welcome to Flight Sim. We're going to put a tree right here in the middle of the runway. There. That looks better. I don't hate it nearly as much. I need to spend some time doing some of this stuff because... I, you know, I, this is one thing I don't love about the American style. I almost want to go back and do the European map, uh, because at least the European map has some, you know, grass and some foliage on it, you know, the American map, desert, every bit of it, desert, dust bowl. Welcome to the dust bowl. You know, because in the American, early American civilization, I don't know if you know it or not, in the early days of America, um, especially around Boston, Philly, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, South Carolina, all those areas like that, Virginia, it was all desert. There were no trees. It wasn't until the Americans came in, or, you know, the pilgrims and everybody came and settled. And Johnny Appleseed came along that we actually got trees. So, it's a little known fact. There were no trees in the United States until we came along. Our ancestors came over from Europe. Yeah, everybody thinks they just brought animals with them. But no, they brought grass and trees with them too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it just kills me that there's... Uh, there's so little in this. I mean, I get in the first campaign that it was out in the West and everything else like that, but now we're talking cities with names like, you know, Norfolk and Palm Bay and Madison, Wisconsin, Omaha, Nebraska, Riverside, California, Flint, Michigan. Never been a tree in Flint, Michigan, I'll tell you that much. Tallahassee, Florida. I mean... Gosh, I bet there was never a tree in, in the swamps around Tallahassee. Alright, anyways. Uh, it's just an observation I have. You know, whatever. Alright, so... Gosh, I need bigger airplanes. I can't put more than four airplanes on here. They'd just be stacked on top of each other. And that would just be crazy. I think the biggest thing is... Just let it run like it is right now and uh, we'll worry about updating it because you can see I've got an airplane here, an airplane here, an airplane here, that one here. I mean there is a little bit of a gap you could put here theoretically and a little bit here but that only works right now. Down the road we'd have to be getting rid of a lot of aircraft in order to, to do anything better. I'm just happy it's making a profit. That's awesome. What is our uh, San Jose commuter line is making money with just two buses on there. I should look at it and see if we need to adjust and put more buses on. Let's see. We got two people there. One person there. Nah. It's doing good. It is doing good. That's a good thing about these buses. They hold more people. So. They keep the people going and that's all that matters. Somebody was saying I needed to have a commuter line up here in, uh, uh, up in Kansas City. I really don't think I do right now. I mean, it's starting to get bigger, uh, but the coverage area is so massive on this, on this one, you know, station. I mean, I might be to this point. I mean, all this is new growth. This wasn't here before, so now that I'm starting to get some growth, I might add a commuter line in, but right now, it's not really my my focus. Kansas City's doing its thing. Got a lot of people riding the rails, doing good. I'll eventually upgrade this. Got a hundred there. How many people came up here? 59 of 64. It's still not worth putting a second train on yet. I still can't justify a second train. Look at this. Uh, I might as well just nip this in the bud right now. Needs to be some bud nipping. 
nip it. Nip it in the bud. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way out to here before the AI builds a house down here as well. All right. I probably should do something with all this. Maybe that's what we do in our next episode. So we're moving along. What do we got? $29 million. Am I out of debt? I'm out of debt. I'm out of debt. I have $30 million in the bank. We're doing pretty good. Um, I'm happy. We made six million last year, six million the year before that, and before that we made another six million dollars. So things are looking up for us. Uh, Commuter-wise, we got a couple of people standing around in this here town. I'm wondering. I want to do a tram. I'm thinking maybe this is the town to do the tram in, uh, as it expands out a little bit more. Maybe I need to come in here, pull this road all the way down through here get rid of this house right here pull this on down to here then bring this all the way down to the water come across here um, go around maybe go up this way a little I don't know but I'm thinking a tram might be cool in Thousand Oaks might be kind of cool I don't know we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes I also need to get a road over here I need to jump right here. I need to kill this building right here. Or, hmm, maybe I come right through here. I need to get a road over here though so that the AI will start building out over on this side of the hill uh, as well and start to fill in this area here with some stuff. So, I'll look at it. I'll see if maybe that's where I can jump. But anyways, uh, we're over time for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. First look at doing aircraft on this uh, on this particular map. And um, yeah, it's turning out to be profitable for us. Surprise. Uh, we're already up 280k on our aircraft line. Um, I've seen a lot of people lose their shirts on aircraft. So I'm going to be really skeptical about it. And I'm going to hold... You know, hold my breath and see if it actually makes money but so far so good and um, how many people are on this guy ah, that's not what I wanted to look at how many people did it have at five going out I don't know how many people it had coming in and there's four more people five people there going there's one that's it, just one. One person. One person came on that train out there. Hmm. Oh, well, you know. Gosh, I could sit here and look at the numbers all day and long, and we're never going to get anywhere with this. The school bus, not making money. It's losing money. But hopefully, eventually, we'll pick up. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you did, please make sure you uh, smack that like button for me. It helps me out a lot. Uh, consider sharing the videos with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, maybe you want to do that because I do new videos each and every day, and that way you can know when they come out. Uh, I do stream at night, usually around 6 o'clock. Hope you'll join me for it. Uh, until our next video or our next time together, stay safe, have a great day, and God bless you. Bye-bye.